This is their headquarters? An original design from CC Corp, huh? Well, aren't they treated like kings? It's not just for show. It's possible to use this area as a simple meeting place. But the Guildmaster can also place monsters within the area and use it as a training ground for members. You know a lot. <laughs> Look who's here. Now, what would someone who's already left Kestrel want with us? Uh, is that true, Kuhn? <laughs> you didn't know? That esteemed sir there used to be none other than Kestrel's assistant guildmaster. <sighs> I left because of our differences of opinion and how we felt the guild should be managed. Well, anyway... We came here to demand the immediate cessation of all canard bullying. What? Canard? <laughs> but um, I don't know anything about them. Hey, you heard of them? Nope. I sure haven't. <laughs> Wait a sec. Wasn't the stupid little beast player we bullied the last time from that guild? Oh, you mean that really stupid looking one? The one that fell apart and cried after we threatened him a little? Oh, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> you bastards! Calm down. Don't let their taunts get under your skin, Haseo. They just want a legitimate reason to PK you. Damn! Is that all? Are you all done? Well, sure has been a while, Gabi. <laughs> it sure has. Now, what were we supposed to talk about again? I already explained it in the email I sent you. <laughs> it is my policy not to read emails that are more than three lines long. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. That's right. It just slipped my mind what kind of a guy you were. Man, you've changed so little that it almost ticks me off. Oh yeah? Well, you too. <laughs> hey, beast guy. Do something about those damn PKers in your guild. They keep on stalking and bullying my guild members for no reason. You're their guild master. Take some responsibility for their actions. Why not let those that want to PK, PK? What the...? And PKKers can do as they want to. If you don't want to die, then run! <laughs> that, too, is the way of the world! That is the policy of our guild. Get it? Lord Gabi isn't a chicken wuss master like you. However... Wait, when did he move from the throne? I will not allow for boredom, if you've only got boring endings prepared. Uh, uh... Haseo, you're participating in the next Demon Palace tournament, right? Yeah. What a coincidence! We're in that tournament ourselves. And our first round opponent's name? is spelled H-A-S-E-O. <laughs> what a coincidence, huh? Player killers, player killer killers, basically they're all battle freaks. It's not like me to make noble promises. So then, why don't we just settle all of our petty differences in the tournament? Bordeaux! I yes, Gabi? Will you win? Yes, of course I will. 
So you promise you'll win? Yes. Promises are only promises when they're kept. You know what will happen if you lose, don't you? Yes. Yes, sir. If I win our match, then you'll never bother Kennard ever again? Uh, of course. Huh. That isn't like you. How can I trust you? Where's the guarantee that you'll keep your promise? That's not your concern. Promises we make with Gabi are indeed absolute to us. If we break a promise with Gabi, there will no longer be a place for us in Kestrel. Exactly. We're leaving. Negimaru, Grain, we've got no time left until the tournament. Bordeaux! Yes? A cornered beast like you are now is a very beautiful thing. <laughs> Thanks. That should take care of it. <sighs> what is it? No. Uh, it's nothing. Gabi. He's gone. When did he... That... Gabi guy. It felt like he already knew everything that happened. He might seem like a bit of a fool, but he knows all the vital points. He didn't become the head of the 5,000 strong Kestrel for nothing. It seems useless to negotiate any further. Let's go back to Kennard's at home. <laughs>